Hey, what's up, guys? This is um the updated Glock 43X uh, video. This is um this is where I'm at right now. Uh, these are some of the modif modifications I've added onto the pistol, and uh, yeah, I I I like every one of them. Every one of them has improved the look and or feel of the firearm. Uh, nothing's gonna improve your shooting. That just comes with time. But I'm gonna start from the bottom, work my way up. Uh, we have the Tyrant Designs Magwell for the 43X. Doesn't, doesn't assist me at all with mag, mag changes. This is flat on the inside. I'm trying to get it to focus, but that's flat right there. And that should be beveled. This should be beveled, but due to how this mounts, it, it's, it, uh, it can't be. Because you have to mount that screw there because you don't have the hole in the back. But this should have at least been chamfered. 45 degree 45 45 but instead it's flat so really makes no difference it's 100 percent for looks for me at this point yeah it doesn't it does feel a lot better as far as my grip goes you have just a little bit here and here so i do actually like that because i took it off the other day and this thing felt very strange in my hands after so that being said um by the way we're clear we're empty um tll TLR6 Streamlight uh, with the laser on the front. I like it with the laser. It just makes it fun shooting. But it also uh, is a backup in case that sight goes down and something happens to my iron sights for whatever reason. So that being said, the flashlight's not too bad. It's only 100 lumens, but I don't have a problem with that at all. That's fine for what I'm using this for. And this is for concealed carry. By the way, concealed carrying this thing is like... It's a night and day difference. I used to, I have a Glock 19. I used to try to carry that. And like this thing right here, psh, this is it. I did get a holster for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, um, this picked up on eBay for like 40 bucks. Very simple, simplistic design. It has the optic cut. So I'll go ahead and drop that in. So you, basically you just slide this in like that. And then this goes inside your, your your waistband. So you just drop it in like that. You know, I'm I carry right-handed, so if this is the my my uh the pants, like the waist, I would just clip that onto the top of the pant, and then this is sitting in inside against your body. Smooth on this side, as you can see, all of your, your sticky stuff is over here. And I take this thing everywhere I go with me and to be honest, I forget I have it on me. That's how really nice it feels. The weight is nice. It doesn't stick out. It's not bulky. Very, very nice. Very happy with this, with the holster, with the pistol itself. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I think that's actually everything I covered. Uh, we did get some paint on here. I'm going to have to touch up. But yeah, um, night vision uh, iron sights here. I think it's called night fission iron sights or night fusion, something like that. I haven't got the real one on yet because I'm going to have to do, do some sanding. Also, guys, I did get the S15 uh, magazines and I didn't have any issues. I didn't go out and shooting and it jammed on me or anything, but I was just thinking about it. There's too many mixed reviews on those. So I did end up buying two of them with the with the uh, upgraded iron uh, mag release uh, mag catch and I did sell them I didn't fire a single round through those things because I'm just thinking this holds 10 plus 5 with those that's really really appealing and I really wanted that but you know there's just so many people just having problems with them and they're jamming and there was a video with a guy he couldn't even fire more than one round without an issue so yeah this is pretty much it this is where I'm at with the pistol and this is probably where it'll stay all right talk to you guys soon